Hey everybody, welcome to my usual me, and welcome back to Outlaws of the Old West. Okay guys, well, we're here back again, and we're going to finish up the last part of the patch notes today. Uh, somebody was saying, I think it was uh, Ola Skiltsford, and I love that name, Ola Skiltsford. I could say it all day, Ola Skiltsford. Uh, <laughs> said, use your scythe on the, on the crops, you'll get a surprise. Well, unfortunately, Ola, I'm afraid that's not the case. There's a, there's a sickle right here, and if you look up in the top right there, I get nothing. I get nothing. Unless I hold down, nope, that didn't work. And then we go ahead and I made a sickle, I made a scythe as well. We're going to go ahead and try that one out. Nothing, man. You got to go inside the crop plot to use it. So it's fine for wild plants, but it's not going to work for domestic, I'm afraid. So thank you for your comment, my friend, but it didn't work. So let's see what we can go ahead and do here. Oh, by the way, if you don't, if you leave your plants for too long and your water level gets too low, it ends up, they are withered. Look at that, withered. I'm not too concerned about that, but it, might, it, bears, it bears mentioning. So water bears mentioning. Ha <laughs> ha, water bear. Let's see, is that going to grow back? It's not. You're actually going to have to remove the plant and put the seed back in. Actually, I'm going to put cotton back in. I'm going to put cotton here. Boom. What, what? Oh. There we go. All right. All right, guys. Today, we're going to go ahead and go out, and I'm going to find a turkey so we can check out a turkey, and we're going to go see if we can't get ourselves a bowl. Do I have a lasso? I do have a lasso. Let's go ahead and put that right there, and we're going to go ahead and head out. I want to see what this turkey's all about. I saw one over here yesterday. I know one spawns right here somewhere. It's where the, it spawns with the deer because that was my deer spawn. It was right over here, or the horse spawn. It might be the horse spawn. But I don't see him now, so we're going to have to wait, I guess. Okay, guys, I'm going to go out and see if we can't find ourselves a bull somewhere. By the way, guys, while I'm out looking for a bull, I found this guy. Look at that, an all-black horse. I'm not going to tame him, but they do exist wild in the game. If you don't feel like buying your own, he's like, well, maybe he's not all-black. Maybe it's a brown mane and a brown tail, but it's close enough. It'd be close enough for me anyway. All right, be in peace, my friend. Alrighty guys, well I came across one of the bulls. He's right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can tame this guy. Hopefully it's not too difficult. And hopefully he didn't attack me. That'd be a bummer if he attacked me. No, he's running. He's running. Okay then. Oh, I gotta go get my horse. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right next to these bandits. No! Skull Gang! Come here, you! Follow me. You following me? Good. Where's that bull go? There he is. They're not making it easy. What if I can crouch down? Maybe I can sneak up on him. God dang it! Got him! I got him! Yeah, so you can, you guys gonna be right on the outside of the bulls, of the bulls, um, oh, we got resources, what? That's weird. You gotta be right on the outside of the bulls' awareness. Now we gotta get out of here before, these, before the skull bandits get to me. Come here, buddy, let's go home. There's another one right here. Cool. Come on, man. Let's go. You and me, kid. All right, let's see if I can get this guy home. We are a long way from the house, guys. A long way from the house. Okay, guys. A couple things I'm noticing here in the dark while we're getting on the way home. Uh, number one, uh, you can only go so far with these things before they lay down because they're tired. And then you got to relax with them again because there is no other option. There's no follow option on these, on these bulls. So... 
The other thing is, you got when you're lassoing them, if you lasso from the side, it won't work. It doesn't work. If you lasso from the front, it doesn't want to work. Oh, I did that time. It almost never does. Almost all, every time I lasso this guy from the back, I have to lasso him from the back. Like I have to go like, like right here like this. And just line it up like that and then just lasso across his body and it seems to work. But uh, from the side, not so much. From the front, not so much. And also they're really easy to get stuck. So I would find the easiest path home obviously because any sort of like like super steep uphill and they have a hard time getting up it so just a couple of observations that i've noticed it's not too nothing that's not oh where'd he go god dang it boy no don't kill the turkey stupid wolf Got bandits everywhere, got wolves everywhere. How about you die? And you die. I'd rather deal with wolves than deal with bandits. Wolves don't shoot back. Sorry, buddy. You gotta go. I saw a turkey. Where is he? Oh, there's another bandit. There's two more bandits. Hey, 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 hey. Where'd the other one go? It's getting cold and snowing. Come on, Buford, let's go. I don't see the turkey anymore. I saw him. I wanted to kill him and see what kind of what kind of meat he gave. Oh, no, you don't. God dang it, boy. You know what? At this rate, I'm never going to get this bull home. Stupid sheep. I definitely did not bring enough ammo for this job. Okay, guys, looks like we are home. We made it. I had to circle around quite a bit, but I got to get him on the other side of these tracks, and I don't know how that's going to work. I'm just going to try to find the path of least resistance it looks like this might be it right here oh did it work maybe come on dude okay well I may have to bust out part of these tracks just to get him inside matter of fact I think I'm gonna do that let's go ahead and do that We'll destroy two pieces of track to do it. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We have no time. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right. Get your butt over here, dude. Oh, really? You've been a pain in my butt this entire time, and that's no bull. By the way, if you punch them in the face, they lasso up, it seems like. So you cow punch them. If you just cow punch them, it, it seems to help. Maybe it was a coincidence, but it happened like four or five times. It seemed to work. So try cow punching, guys. As weird as that might sound. He's hungry and he's thirsty. I got to make a, I gotta make a trough. And last but not least, everybody, somebody said, you didn't churn butter. Well, guess what? I'm going to go ahead and make a butter churner right there at the butter mixer. We're going to churn the butter. Churn the butter. Got to fix my tracks first, though. There we go. By the way, the uh, butter turner is in the carpenter window, and it does take 20 planks and 5 iron ore. I didn't say that, but there you go. Let's go ahead and milk some of our cows. Oh, it's a big old butter turner, isn't it? Wow, dude, that's huge. All right, let's go upstairs. Let's put this thing upstairs.
Maybe not. Uh, maybe we'll put it in the barn. That's what we'll do. We'll put it right here. Boom. Eater interact. Okay, let's see what we got. It's a chemistry window. What? Oh, you can make another butter churner inside the butter churner? That's the weirdest thing I've seen. I mean, you know what? Hang on. What? So you can make a butter churner, you can make a bunk bed, and you can make a bucket, and you can make butter. That's so weird. So it takes two milk to make one butter. A delicious topping. How much food does it give me? Oh, I'm not very hungry. Shoot. I should have waited to eat. Mmm, it gives you four. Four hunger. Gives you four. It, it feeds four hunger here. I'm going to put this back in here. Oh, let me. All right, guys. Well, that's a butter churner. That's awfully strange, but that's cool. It looks good. I like the animation. The animation's cool. The animations in this game aren't bad. They're definitely better than some games I've played. Okay, guys. Well, Buford's home. He's safe and sound. Uh, I don't really know what UC's going to be, except maybe this is a precursor to breeding being put in the game. That would be amazing. Uh, otherwise, he's just, he's just a fixture, and that didn't really do me much good. But um, it, was a, it was something to do, and it was fun for the day, you know, so uh, we had a lot of fun. I also was able to churn some butter, and all of these different food stuffs that we have in the game now are telling me that they're probably going to be putting a cooking update in the game sometime down the road. I don't know how long it's going to be, but recipes are going to be probably be on the way. And speaking of recipes, I didn't get to kill a turkey, so I don't know what kind of meat it gives, but it'll be interesting to find out down the road if it gives turkey meat and what, what that does in the near future. Okay, guys, well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that right now. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next video, which will be sooner than you might think because I have some more outlaws coming for you in the future. So anyway, guys, that's all I'm going to say about that. We will talk to you later. Oh, wait, one last thing. Developers. Yeah, the uh, my barn, 180 degrees. My uh, My shop, 180 degrees. In the wrong direction. Help me out. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.